Hello everybody and welcome back to Pineal Gland Cystic Brain Tumor and Mental Health Awareness Campaign as well as my GoFundMe page under Remove Laisha's Brain Tumor. I want to say a big thank you to all my friends, family and complete strangers who have donated on my GoFundMe page towards my upcoming uh, brain surgery this May 2018 in Houston, Texas. Thank you so much for all of your support and your donations, your generosity. And for all of you who have been following my Facebook this week, you will notice that I am now in Toronto. I came back to Toronto for some medical um, stuff. And while I'm here, I decided to meet up with a fellow pineal gland cystic brain tumor sufferer. Renee is a good new friend of mine from the pineal gland cystic brain tumor website. And she lives in Cambridge, Ontario. We connected on this support uh, website and she asked to meet with me and I thought, what a wonderful idea. So we met up together and I filmed her story and I want to share Renee's story. So thank you for tuning in this week and please meet Renee. What is your first name? Renee. Renee, and Renee, how old are you? 40. I live in Cambridge, Ontario, so about an hour outside of Toronto, just west of Toronto. I've been married for 21 and a half years. I have two children. My daughter will be 19 in just a couple weeks. She's in her first year of university. My son is 17 in grade 12, and I have two dogs. And yeah, I work full time as often as I can. When did you uh, first start to notice that you were getting headaches? Um, more recently, the first time was about two years ago, so when I was 41. What did these headaches feel like? It started off as headaches and they progressed to migraines, and now it's more of like constant pressure in my head. And what does that pressure feel like? It feels like someone's like pushing from the inside out, in the middle of my head out. Okay. Have you already had an MRI? I have, about two months ago. What did they find in your MRI? They found a pineal um, my doctor said that it's an incidental finding. Um, it is, it's not symmetrical. My hand is a little asymmetrical. And um, she actually didn't even know where the gland was. She had to look it up when we met. So. Why did they send you for an MRI? They couldn't figure out what the headaches and migraines were caused by. They had done blood work and ruled out everything else. And so the MRI was kind of a last result to see if there was anything else that could be causing the, the headaches and migraines. And there was nothing else there other than the pineal gland cyst. That's correct. Yeah. Can you describe for our viewers what your symptoms are that you feel are contributed to the pineal gland cyst? Um, the constant pressure and pain in my head. Do you get pain in your eyes? I do. What does that uh, feel like and what symptoms do you get from vision? It almost feels like my eyes are bruised. It's it's hard to describe, but it, the constant pressure, sometimes you get blurry vision. Um, when I look up, it hurts. I get a lot more pain than if I just look sideways or look down, but it just feels like they're constantly bruised from the inside out. Not being able to do some things with the family just from the constant pain or just being so exhausted from being in pain or needing to be by myself in a dark room. Uh, some days I have to leave work early or I can't go to work at all. Sometimes I can't even go places. So for example, church, I can't control how loud the music is or how loud the speakers are. So it's just too much and it's just so draining emotionally and physically. I'm just tired all the time. Renee, can you tell our viewers um, if you have any tips or advice that you can give them in dealing with the pain and the suffering associated with your brain tumor? One of the big things that um, I've just tried recently is I got glasses. I've looked at the um, anti-glare and, and the pink glasses that black out all the blue lights because I know especially when my head is really hurting the fluorescent lights or screens the blue light off screens really affects it and makes it worse especially on my eyes 
Um, so these are blue IQ lenses with the anti-glare on them. So it just, it takes off a little bit of that eye strain, especially for me at work, because every room where I work has a fluorescent light, um, so I can't get away from it. And was that covered under your insurance plan? It was. You can use it for prescription or non-prescription lenses. That's wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you so much for watching the pineal gland cystic brain tumor awareness campaign. Thank you so much for listening to Renee's story. We will be following up with Renee after she sees her neurosurgeon this year just to see what happens uh, within Canada and what questions she asks the neurosurgeon and what she hears back. So I look forward to updating you guys soon. If you would like me to share your story and you have a pineal gland cystic brain tumor, please leave me a comment below or send me an email at laisha.barbosa at outlook.com. If you're raising money to get the surgery done, as well, drop me a line. I will help you by putting up your um, advertisement page on one of my videos and on my Facebook page. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please share my video, share Renee's story with your friends and your family, and let's start talking about the injustice that is taking place not only in Canada, but worldwide with these rare brain tumors and the fact that so many people are suffering every day and not being acknowledged as a problem by our medical system. Love you guys. You take care of yourselves and you have a wonderful week. Please hit the like button down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you all next week. Mwah. Mwah.